we are going on with our series on complex numbers. And in this video, we want to find the values of A and B respectively. So we are given that 2 plus 5i times A plus BI is equal to 36 plus 3i. And in order for us to find the values of A and B, we need to multiply out as we would normally do in algebra. So that leads to 2a plus 2bi plus 5ai plus 5bi squared equal to 36 plus 3i. Now remember that i squared is equal to negative 1. Also notice that there are no like terms that we can add together on our left hand side. So what I would do is group together the real parts of the expression and the imaginary parts of the expression. So we'll have 2a minus 5b. Remember that i squared times positive 5b would be equals to negative 5b plus 5ai plus 2bi equal to 36 plus 3i. And I can rewrite that slightly as 2a minus 5b plus 5a in brackets plus 2bi equal to 36 plus 3i. Now, we know that the real part of this complex number is equals to the real part on the right hand side. So 2a minus 5b is equal to 36. And also that the imaginary part of 5a plus 2b would be equal to the imaginary part on the right hand side. So that is 5a plus 2b would be equal to 3. Now we have two sets of equations and we can solve the values of a and b simultaneously. So what I'm going to do is create 10a in both of my equations. So I multiply the first equation by 5. And that leads to 10a minus 25b equals to 180. And in my second equation, I'll multiply everywhere by 2. So that is 10a plus 4b is equal to 6. Now I can eliminate 10a by subtracting the one equation from the other or by substituting the one into the other. So I'm going to use the method of elimination, meaning I have 10a minus 25b equals to 180 and I would subtract the second equation of 10a minus 4b equals to negative 6. So remember that I'm subtracting to eliminate 10a and that is equals to negative 29b equals to 174. Now I can divide both sides by negative 29 and I find b is equals to negative 6. And now that I have a b value, I can substitute it into any one of my two equations to find a. So 10a plus 4 times b, which is equals to negative 6, is equal to 6. So I substituted the negative 6 of b into my second equation. And when I simplify, I have 10a equals to 30. Therefore, a is equal to 3. So a quick recap. We wanted to find the values of a and b in this equation. First, we multiply it out and then we grouped the imaginary and real parts together. And we found that 2a minus 5b is equal to 36 and 5a plus 2b is equal to 3. That led to us having two equations and we can solve a and b simultaneously using these two equations. That led to b equals to negative 6 and a equal to 3.